Good morning, party people. Good afternoon, good evening. Wherever we're at in our party, I am here for the raw chicken demo. It's going to blow your mind, because it did mine. So, what I did is I got some raw salmon. That's what we were having for dinner, so. Smeared it all over the Norwex cutting board. So this is gonna be like what you would do all over your counter, right? You're slicing through things, it's getting all over your hands. And I'm gonna show you how with just the Norwex microfiber, we call it the Enviro cloth, the E for everything, that you can clean with just water. So I have this wet. You're gonna be able to remove 99 percent of the bacteria that's on the surface. So the reason why is our microfiber is woven so tightly and the strands alone are so much denser, have so much surface area that can pick up material. So it, for example, the average microfiber cloth is, I don't own any generic microfiber cloths, but if you were to pick one up, for example, it would just be like take a human hair and cut it into six little pieces, right? And that's how that's the strands that are picking things up on if you go to the store and get yourself a, an average uh, microfiber, I'm sorry, an ag average microfiber cloth. But if you use Norwex, it's one two hundredths of a human hair. So imagine one hair of mine split into 200 times. That's the amount of microfiber that we have picking up this bacteria. That's why I am 100% positive that as we spread this raw chicken, which has been sitting here for a while now, <laughs> as I tried to find a quiet place, we are gonna show you how, you put this away in our Norwex, Norwex food safety silicone. And I'm gonna wipe off my hands because it'll even get the bacteria off my hands. Now, how are we gonna prove that? You can wipe it all day long and say it's clean, but nope, we're gonna go for the big guns, the pro clean. This is what food safety uh, inspectors use, right? So if there is protein present, which we were talking about bacteria. What's protein got to do with this? Well, protein is actually smaller than the bacteria. So if there's any protein present, then for sure there's bacteria present. So this is what they use in food safety. If it's green, you know it's clean. Little bit of protein present, a lot of protein, and it's still very dirty. So we're gonna use this to prove that you can trust the Norwex microfiber cloth. This is our Enviro cloth, E for everything, to clean all the surfaces in your house, including raw chicken, raw fish, whatever it might be, bathrooms, which happens to be where we're at. And you can just rinse this powerhouse, hang it to dry because of the backlock technology, which is silver embedded in this cloth which is going to help it suffocate all of that bacteria. So no stinky cloths afterwards, you hang it, you let that back to, you let the microsilver go to work to suffocate all the bacteria and you have yourself a brand new, uh, nice clean cloth to, to use the next day. Um, I still wash mine once a week, depending on, because I use them all over the house. So I just rinse this in the sink really quick so it's wet. See that fiber going on in there? I mean, it's old, I've had it for two years, and we're gonna see if this still works. So, first of all, I spread the salmon all over here. And what I'm gonna do is wipe that up. Right, just like you would. You have, I like to fold it in eight. So, fold it once, and fold it again. So now I have eight cleaning surfaces. I can wipe like this. As I'm going down my kitchen or bathroom, I can just fold it over for another fresh clean side, etc. As I need to, I can turn it inside out, fold it again, and you wanna keep that flat. So you're picking up all the grooves and all the crannies in there. So 
we are going to do, let's see if I remember how to do this. It's been a while. So here is the tester swab. Okay. We're gonna rub it all over, even down in the cracks here, right? And see if I did my job. I didn't really have to scrub a lot. I just wiped it off. So we're gonna break, there we go. We're gonna break that and see, shake it up a little bit, right? And you can see, what is it guys? Green is clean, right? So there's no bacteria present. And the reason why I did this first, I wiped it up first, was because these tend to get expensive. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you afterwards now, if I hadn't wiped it up, what the bacteria would look like. So this way I only have to use one of these swabs. So let's just say we had our salmon, we got it all over, and we didn't really. Maybe we even used a spray cleaner, something with harmful chemicals, and just left it there, right? So that you just still had the bacteria all over your surface. And what we can do is, I gotta remember how to do this. Okay, here we go. Try to clean that off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over and say, what? How would you even know that that's dirty? Well, you can see it's already turning purple, showing that bacteria is present. And so, as I shake it, and again, you have to mix it, right? So I'm just gonna, hello, go like that. And you can see how quickly that is turning purple under there. So as we, as we shake this up, and as it sits there, you would see as a food safety inspector, you would say, oh no, this, is, this would not pass the test. It's definitely, definitely, there we go. Mine's pink, but it's turning purple. So that is definitely showing that there was a protein present. In fact, actually you can see the purple on, on here. Now, as we saw, I can just wipe that off wipe down the, look, I'm wiping the rest of my countertop, let's pretend this is my countertop, or my cutting board with the same Enviro cloth, right? Because I know it's picking up bacteria as it goes and getting rid of that. I'm gonna just go toss this, rinse it in the sink. Let me figure out where to put this. Excuse me, pardon me. Take it to the sink. I mean, there's nothing exciting here. We're just gonna rinse it. I like to actually use some Norwex. Sorry, should have put something else in. So I just like to use some dish soap in here maybe. And I have my foaming spray bottle, my forever bottle that can come with it and sure enough just ring it ring it out and hang it to dry of course it helps to have that was terrible sorry of course it helps to have two hands to do that so I will ring that out ring it again <laughs> man what a day. Okay, just bring it out and take this and hang it out to dry. Now, if I wanted to keep going, for example, I, I keep saying to everyone that I always seem to be in the bathroom using my microfiber. So I've just rinsed this out. I'm also, I've got some yuck going on, toothpaste and crud on my windows. Yep, same Enviro cloth. Um, I know that it's clean. I know that it's so thick that it cleaned everything out of there. So I'm gonna use the wet microfiber cloth. And then this just so happens to be one that I earned as a hostess with the cute little bird pattern. This is your window cloth. And so you're gonna use that to wipe everything down to a streak-free shine every time it's so nice too it just gets out even uh, glass cleaner sorry I can't use brand names but let's just say you've used a glass cleaner on this already um, yeah terrible.
terrible. Anyways, you can see, you can see me. And so I use this a lot in my demos too, just at the farmer's market or wherever it might be, just to show people, right, that this cloth can be used everywhere. You can use it to clean your, um, our window that we have, like the, um, in your shower. Everyone knows, you know, use the squeegee, just finish it off with this nice window cloth. You use this dry and you're good to go. It polishes, polishes your windows, your mirrors, uh, whatever it might be. But the power is there, guys. The power is in these two cloths. My favorite thing, the basic package, $35.99, the best investment you'll ever make. We haven't had to go to the store to get cleaners or anything in such a long time. It's so fun too, telling the kids like, here, fill up a spray bottle with water and use it. You know, and the grandkids or the kids love to just help us clean, whatever that might be. I could show some videos of that later. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's all you need. So trust it. Um, the proof was, again, in that. Look how purple that turned. Um, the proof was in that, right? I mean, we cleaned all of that. You saw the first time. I wiped it off to no bacteria, completely green. And now, um, again, if we were to test it before, we had a purple. It was completely infested with the bacteria, which of course it is, is all over the surfaces that we're, that we're cutting in, um, cutting on, and yeah. So that is my raw chicken demo. Trust it. I do. It's been four years now. I still have a lot of my same original cloths that I bought. Um, I take really good care of them. I don't put them in the, I don't put them in with any fabric softener. We don't use bleach, none of that stuff. We don't use dryer sheets. Um, I, I wash them with stuff that's not linty, not super linty like um, sweaters or socks or anything like that that's gonna um, super cottony um, things. But I'll throw them in with either a load alone if I have a lot of towels and stuff that I'm doing or you can even just put them in the sink and use some detergent if that makes you happy. And next will be the dusting mitt. Stay tuned.